Hi guys and ladies, I did a recipe a couple of years ago for breaded fried fish. It was great and it was easy as one, two, three. You might even say three, two, one. If you stay tuned, you'll see why. I'd love to have it again. I hope you don't mind. I picked up all the ingredients, ah, 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 except for one. <laughs> and you know what it is, it's the fish. Let's go see if we can get them. I'm gonna make my first cast right here on the dock. I'm going to use this. It's a Tinky Dinky. It's a modified Z-Man tubes lure that my friend Don Winky Doodles created and sent to me. He has a great YouTube channel and I put a link in the notes below to his video showing how he made these. Also in the notes is everything you ever wanted to know about my equipment and this lake. So let's get out there. the size on this guy. He's a jumbo. I've got to measure him. He's over nine inches. Wow, that's big, big, big. It's raining. I don't know if I can get fishing in today. Oh, another gorgeous bluegill. I can't believe how nice these are. These are good size. Whoa, I don't believe it myself. These are huge. <laughs> very, very nice bluegill so far. Wow. This tinky dinky works. Eight and a half inches. Hey, on. Look at that. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Look at the beauty of this fish. Oh, the colors. <laughs> Plus, it's big. <laughs> oh, oh, what a day! Incredible! This is fish number five, and look at the size. Eight and a half inches again. This is a day for the history books. I've never caught so many big bluegill. Wow! You scoundrel, <laughs> he went under the boat. This historic day continues. He's not enormous, but he's big. fish is both big and beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> wow, 
This is fish number nine. That's more than enough. That's well over a pound of uh, fish fillets. We better get in the house. The rain is really coming down, but I wanted, I wanted to show you, look at this. This is an historic day. Wow, these are big bluegill. I don't take that many out of the lake. I mean, I could take hundreds, they tell me, the scientists, uh, during the year, but I take eight or nine, maybe every second or third week. That's not gonna hurt the lake. to give Don Winky Doodles big thanks again for sending me his tinky dinkies. Thanks loads, Don. What a memorable day I had. I now have a pound and a half of nice bluegill fillets, and I can't wait to start frying them up. But first, let's put together a, a little side dish. I'm going to start by spraying this skillet with some lubricant. Now I'm going to set our burner to medium high. I went to the land of the Jolly Green Giant and picked up two bags of frozen peas. Sugar snap peas. I've been sauteing these for like uh, six minutes. I'm going to add two teaspoons of this minced garlic from the jar. Now I'm going to saute another minute. I've got here cherry tomatoes that I cut in half. I have a cup. I'm gonna throw them over here and let them heat up to juicify them. Oh, that looks good. Let it go another minute. <laughs> That's it. I'm just gonna dump these guys in a medium bowl and get on with our fish. I'm gonna try just a little. Mmm, juicy, sweet, tender, a little hint of garlic. Oh, this is great. I like this. Really, I do. When you visit me in the kitchen, you're in a low-carb zone. So our fish breading has to be low-carb. And I'm going to make it with this Pecorino Romano. You could use Parmesan. Golden flaxseed meal and almond flour. So let's mix it up. Here's nine ounces in volume of uh, Pecorino Romano. We'll put it in our breading station here. That's nine, now we're going down to six. Here's where you get three, two, one. You see, three parts, two parts, one part. Here's six ounces in volume of golden flaxseed. Here's about three ounces in volume of almond flour. Let's mix this up. I almost forgot, Old Bay. I'm putting in two tablespoons of Old Bay. I suppose you could use any seafood seasoning like uh, Tony Cacciatore's. In this bowl, I'm putting five large eggs without the shells. I'm going to dump some cream in there. It's a quarter cup. Let's see how that works out. I have more. Now let's put a lot more cream. It doesn't hurt. I'm going to dump our fish fillets in this mixture. And I'm going to drown them in there. I'm going to drain our sticky fillets. Here goes. I've got a little uh, holding plate. Let's get our fillets in there. In our breading. We'll just bread them up. Pat them. And onto our plate. <laughs> While you were out getting popcorn and M&Ms, <laughs> I finished breading these. Look at these beautiful beautiful bluegill. I'm going to turn this skillet to medium high like 365. I'm going to put a whole stick of butter in it. You've seen me do this before. I'm going to just cover the bottom with a little bit of peanut oil. I'm going to do these in two batches. I don't want to crowd them. I don't want them to steam. I want them to fry and crisp. All these need are two minutes on each side. I'm going to flip these. Batch one is coming out. I'm going to try some crispy belly meat. Oh, perfect. The salt is perfect. 
the Old Bay seasoning comes through. The breading is crisp. This is great. That's it, I'm getting the last of them out. I'm just gonna keep the fish in the oven for a little while until our special guest arrives. While the fish is keeping warm in the oven, I should tell you all that I'm very excited. That famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way here for dinner tonight. You know, I've been trying to win her heart for over 50 years, yet she doesn't seem interested in marriage. I think marriage is something you, you don't really appreciate until maybe you lose it. Then you realize how much you miss your partner. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by my moldy modular house. And uh, you had a chance to partake of my three to one fried fish. What did you think of that? It was excellent. I love it. It tasted, I could taste the cheese and, and it was very crispy and the fish was very good. It was very crispy, good, yes. wasn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. crispy. And those sugar snap mm. peas, that was a simple side dish. Yes, they were sweet and delicious and crispy. Yes, Thank you. nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can call you Lulu yeah, now. Sure. You, oh, thank you. Um, you. You know our friends, Paul and, and Paula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I heard that mm, since their divorce, she's been missing him. Isn't that sad? Yes, that's true. But Paula told me her aim is getting better. Huh? Can I have a hug?